Imagination. Imagination. Hey everyone, it's time to eat the magic. We're gonna be going to Woody's Lunchbox and get some delicious food. I gotta go through these tunnels to get there. These aren't like cartoon tunnels where like the Roadrunner goes through and then I slam right into a wall, are they? Cause uh, that's not funny when you guys did that to me last time. Yeah, this is Edge for a quick snack. At Rancho Roasters, they have the Kyriro uh, uh, pork rinds. So uh, we don't have these out at Batu West for some reason. Let's see how they are. Let's take a look. They're coated in dust and stuff. Look very crispy. That is too many flavors at once. There's like a like a cheese flavor to it, and a, a sweet flavor to it, and a. It's like every flavor at once. This is bizarre. I kind of like the uh, the coating for this. There's a. A little bit of a sweetness to it, a little bit of a heat to it. Cheese, a lot of cheese flavor. That's a great combination. It actually has like a, a more unique flavor that makes it feel like it's something from another planet. I mean, the pork rind, oops. No, it fell. Five second rule. The pork rinds are just, you know, regular pork rinds, obviously, but it's the coating that makes them unique and flavorful. I actually really, really like these. Uh, I'm getting upset that there's like unique foods out here that we don't have at our local one. And it's, it's kind of getting to me a little bit, people. All right. So to drink, we grabbed a Tannery Sunset. This is available at both parks, in case anyone's wondering. And I've just never had it before. Fruity. Um, yeah, very fruity. Um, Tell what the mix is here. Maybe some dragon fruit in there, maybe? Or maybe lychee? There's something in there. You guys get a unique kind of flavor to it. I like it. It's a nice fruity drink. It's cold, cool, and refreshing on a hot day. Yeah, not bad. This is kind of more of what I wanted in terms of the drinks here instead of some of the other drinks I've reviewed. Watch my opening sequence. Hello, I'm Mirko here with uh, Eat the Magic and I have the Zuki wrap from Ronto Roasters and it's really awesome. It's got a piece of grilled zucchini inside of a really nice kind of like, it almost looks like a naan kind of wrap and it's got chickpeas and red onions and it looks like there's shredded carrots and even a little bit of cilantro. It's got a really nice, not too spicy, not too like, um, it's, it's not an intense sauce, but it's really nice, it's flavorful. It's got a very nice Mediterranean kind of flavor with the chickpeas. And it's a really light snack if you're not feeling the, uh, the other option that they have there.
So here we are in the Toy Story Land, right next to Woody's Lunchbox, which has some of the coolest looking theming for a restaurant. I really dig that. The thermos right there, and the lunchbox lid and all that. It, that's actually really great. <clears throat> We're here to try out some foods that we've been wanting to try out, and some of which have been recommended to us, like the tachos. In addition to that, I had made the uh, three grilled cheese in the past, and I want to see what their version is like to see how they compare. So here's the three grilled cheese. Um, I've made this before, there's a link for that video somewhere, I'm sure. Let's take a look at how theirs is compared to mine. Cheese is very melty, like it was on mine. Mm. Bread is nice and toasty. I think my garlic spread was a little more intense than this, but that's because I live with garlic people in my family. Juice is nice, it's thick. Yeah, pretty good. I can see why this is a popular item. So here's the frozen Mystic Portal Punch. It's a nice slush, it's blue. Mm. Yeah, it has a blueberry flavor, but there's a little something else in there. Lemonade, maybe? Mm. It's refreshing. It's nice on a hot day, for sure. It's like a berry crunch with some lemonade, maybe, or something else in there. Tastes pretty good. It's nice and refreshing. And on a hot day, which there's plenty in Florida, it's probably a really good option to have. So these are the tachos. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Let's give it a try here. So, pretty good tasting cheese there. Um, <clears throat> it turns out pretty good with like the combination of everything that's here. So you got your, your tots, a little bit of beans, cheese, sour cream. Mm. You know, like bacon bit stuff in here. And, uh, Little pieces of like to be little chips. Mm. Yeah, little tortilla chip pieces in here too. It's a pretty good combination of stuff. And I can see why people recommended this one to me, so I'm glad I got the chance to try it. So this is Mariko and Jared from Eat the Magic, and we are unveiling our peanut butter fudge banana okay. lunchbox tart. And you can see that it's got the banana fondant along with the dried bananas and the jimmies. And I'm going to just break mine open in the middle to show you the inside. Oh, I was going to take a bite, so. Where you can see that wonderful peanut butter fudge filling. Same and I'm about to try thing. it out. I want to point out this also smells really good. I'm not usually a banana person, but the smell of this, you can oh, smell wow. that combination right there. All right, I'm taking a big bite. It's great. The crust is nothing like mm. a regular Pop-Tart. It's more like a shortbread. Mm -hmm. And there's a nice chocolate and peanut butter in there. It's very evenly matched. Not overly sweet. The peanut butter does kind of make it stick to the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You went for the big bite. You mm -hmm. might need, would you like some water? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have it on standby for you if you choose mine. Mm. Okay, 
Those look all the best flavors. <laughs> it is pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it'll get a little. If you take a giant bite like I did, you can see how big. But take a So I wanted to be able to get all the flavors at once. And I didn't break mine in half. <laughs> <laughs> a chocolate and beef beer make it really awesome. I mean, it's obviously, that's one of the best combinations. The banana is not overpowering. It's there and it kind of adds to the flavor without being like, oh, this tastes like I'm eating a banana that kind of has some other flavors. No. The flavor balance is really, really good. And I love the fact that this, I was expecting this to be closer, like you said, to a Pop-Tart. It's a nice, like, shortbread. So it's, think of, like, if you had a, a good shortbread cookie. With the inside, the filling is essentially chocolate and peanut butter, and outside just, just the right amount of, like, banana flavoring on the top. And you just eat that, and it just became this amazing, like, every dessert you had is a child flavor combination. Um... Normally I do my line where I say the only type of banana I like is when it's split. Um, because I, I don't usually eat bananas as just as like a fruit. But this works really well. Like, like again, it's that flavor we're in. Like in a banana split, how the chocolate and the, and the banana complement each other. It happens here too with this, plus that little extra peanut butter, which is just, you know, icing on top. Or, well, I mean, the bananas, the, eh, you get it. And the banana is not artificial too. It's it's really kind of it doesn't have that overly artificial banana, and the dried banana kind of gives a nuttiness and a crunchiness that also blends in with the peanut butter. So definitely a good pick. <laughs> Everyone, I'm Jared with special guest Americo, and we just like to remind you to please like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our Florida adventure videos. We have a bunch of them, and most importantly, remember to eat, eat the, the magic. magic. Yeah, for Star Wars, it's Star Wars only. I'm not going to get you Star Wars. <laughs>